Hola. Peace, you guys. It's your Raymond the Bush. It's Princey215. I got a good message for y'all today. This is, I'm going to do it a little different. Today, I'm going to just give y'all my message, and then I'll pull cards for the cumulative. Okay, y'all? So, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. You know what I'm saying? And I hope you guys got to get outside today. I hope you go outside today. I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you keep yourself hydrated. Stay away from negative energies, toxic people. And we got one person. I'm going to wait for somebody else to join. So did y'all see the title? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about narc sex, okay? So if you are an empath, if you are an empath or if you are just a highly sensitive person or if you're just not a fucking narcissist, but if you slept with a narcissist, if a narcissist has discarded you, um, or if you are in a relationship with a narcissist, maybe this will help you to realize like you are with a narcissist. Because, so I'm gonna break it down in two ways. I'm gonna talk about how the narc sleeps with you, like how the sex is with a narcissist, and also when the narc discards you and goes to get with another narcissist. For, this is That's more so for my women, like more so for my women, when you are dealing with a narc man and he leaves you for another narc ass female, I want y'all to know that the sex is not hitting, okay? But, all right, let me just get into it for y'all real quick, just for the first part. So it's nine, it's nine signs of knowing that you are sleeping with a narcissist, okay? The first sign is they prioritize their own sexual satisfaction. Meaning like, when you are sleeping with this narcissist, they don't really care about pleasing you. They don't care about how you feel. They just care about their own satisfaction. They want you to do all these things just to please them. That's number one, right? Number two is, um, narcissists are not really, they're not really, they're not really sexually satisfied for real, for real, because they feel like they are being criticized. They feel like they're being judged. But that's the paradox. Some narcs, again, goes back to number one. They, as far as number one, they prioritize their own sexual needs. So that's the duality. Either they're going to prioritize their own sexual needs or they're going to feel as though they're going to feel like sex is not even like fun for them because narcs remember they criticize themselves even though they might not ever say it to you we got eight in the chat that's game let's go so even though they might not even say to you like how they really feel but y'all gotta remember that narcs do not have any type of self-love they're they they do not have confidence they base their self-worth off of how other people feel about them so that's the polarity between them either not being satisfied with the sex and it's not nothing to do with you. It's just who they are. Or they're only going to care about their own se sexual satisfaction. And some narcs, though, some narcs have this overly, this overconfidence. They have an overconfidence and they're a very grandiose behavior for their sex. Like, they'll feel like, yeah, I'm the best you ever had. I'm the best you ever had, right? That's how some narcs will approach you. So far as my women who are in the chat... I'm sure you'll, you'll recognize this. If you slept with a narc, you'll recognize how they just feel like they're the best, like they're the best you ever had when actually they're not. And they also, number four, they also like expect for you to give them praise. A narcissist, whether a male or a female, they will expect for you to praise them. They will expect for you to to make it seem like like they are the like they're the best like like i said the first one they're the best that you ever had so they're expecting praise they're expecting validation they're expect they're expecting for you to put their own needs first so if they're expecting for you to praise them that means they're expecting for you to not even worry about what it is that you want sexually because everybody has their own different needs everybody wants something differently but they expect for you to just validate them to just please them they don't care about pleasing you and Jay is Kim mad at me. All right, y'all, no trolling, all right, y'all. Um, and then on, and then the next one is they are very hypersensitive to criticism. So if you tell this narc like, I don't really like how you did this. I don't really like how you did that. You know, it ain't hitting for me. It's not. It ain't working. They're going to feel. 
they're going to be they're going to like react this is this is how y'all know somebody's an art when they want to when you express when you express to them that you don't like something and now they want to argue with you or they want to make you feel bad that's how you know that they're a fucking narcissist because you can't even tell them i don't i just don't like how you did this or i would like for you to do this they don't like criticism they're so hypersensitive to being critiqued and now the number six which is which is a really really good one right aggression or violence a lot of narcissists, some narcissists, are very aggressive with sex, are very violent, like like a fucking porn. This is why y'all porn is not, porn is not healthy. It's really not. Not if you are a spiritual being, you will understand like that shit's not healthy. So when a narcissist is constantly watching this, when they're constantly watching these explicit things happening, that's not even real life. They're porn is an act they're literally just acting so the narc will take that and actually do that to you they will be very aggressive and violent towards you where it's unenjoyable it's not enjoyable thank you so much for the likes y'all i do appreciate it if y'all like my live thank you so much love true narcissists are constantly projecting onto others first to the point the finger and last to look in exactly that's what they do and and like I said, number six is very important for y'all. The aggression, okay? When they are aggressive to you, when they are violent to you, that is how you know, like, you are a fucking narcissist. Like, no no person, uh, and this is more so for a man, because the man is the one who does the, the fucking pounding. So if a man is literally hurting you, ladies, and you're telling him it hurts or you're expressing to him like you don't like that, and they, they just, again, hypersensitive, hypersensitivity to criticism, when you're expressing this to them, they're brushing it off. They're acting like it doesn't matter. They're gonna push the blame back on you. Like you're not doing good enough. You're not. You're not pleasing me. They will flip everything. They will gaslight you when you're expressing to them, "Hey, I don't like this." And number seven, a lack of empathy for partner's needs, which goes back to basically the beginning of what I just said. They're not gonna care about what it is that you want in the bedroom. What make what turns you on? What makes you feel pleasure? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel validated? They are only a concern with using you for you to validate them. That is all they care about. So they have no empathy for what it is that you want. They don't care about what you want. And they have a sense of entitlement to sex. Narcissists have a sense of entitlement to your body. They will feel like you are their property. They will feel like if I, if I say I want it, then I want it right now. They don't care about what you're going through. They don't care about... They don't, they don't care about nothing. It's now, right now, or they're going to argue with you. They're going to gaslight you, make you feel bad, guilt trip you. They will guilt trip you. Like, oh, we together, but you're not going to you're not gonna do nothing with me. They'll say stuff to you. So my brothers use my sisters and women outside of our, of our household to torture me. My brothers use my sisters and women outside of our house. I'm sorry, Harden. I'm not sorry. I apologize that that happened to you, Harden. Like, my condolences my condolences for that experience you guys you guys have to understand like this is what evil people will do evil people will get other people to torture you that that's what it's called gang stalking that's what gang stalking is gang stalking is when they just rot people are just rallying up all these people just to fuck with you just to wherever you live you walk outside your house you got to deal with all all these spirits monitoring spirits even if it's not in the physical they will gang stalk you online um have your number texting you Thank you so much for the flower, Crystal. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate you, Crystal, and I hope you have a beautiful day. And I will pull a card for you as well, okay? So you'll be the first card I pull, and then I'll pull cards going along with this. So, yeah, y'all, pay attention to these narcs, okay? Pay attention. And let me finish this, and then I'll read y'all stuff. And if y'all want me to go back over, just let me know, because I know new people just came in. The last one is exploitation, okay? They will exploit you if... Now, we all grown here. I'm not going to ever be. It's a lot of therapists. It's a lot of, not even just therapists, just coaches, period, will tell you don't let anybody take pictures of you and stuff like that. But, again, we're grown. It's to each day own. You have to know what you're dealing with. If you are in a committed relationship with somebody and they're not a fucking narcissist, of course, you can take a picture for your man or for your woman. That's that's between y'all. So, don't let, out, don't let nobody tell you what you should and should not do. That's my approach. Nobody can ever tell me what to do. Nobody shouldn't tell you what to do. But... As far as exploitation though in regards to a narcissist if you do send pictures to a narcissist they will send those pictures to other people they will show you around to other people that's exploiting you and that's that's so what's the word that is so 
That is a breach of confidentiality within your relationship. Because if I took this picture for you, why are you showing it to your friends? Or why are you showing it to other supply? That's This is exactly, y'all, how they will bait other supply. Your pictures, whatever you send to them, they're sending it. Thank you, Boz. Thank you, my love. Thank you for the heart. I appreciate you so much. Your pictures, they will literally exploit you or not even just your pictures. They will exploit you for that. I was specifically talking about sexual encounters, but the exploitation of a narc will be for everything. Your finances, your um, relationships, just who they will exploit you. They will they will exhaust you. They will take literally everything from you because of the simple fact that they don't see you as a person. They just literally see you as an object to exploit and to use you to dangle in front of other people. You might have something like, especially if you if you beautiful, right? If you're a beautiful, nice body, all right. He's gonna use these pictures to make other females feel some type of way or to make other females be like, oh wait, he was fucking her. Oh, I'm about to go. I'm about to fuck with him now. So it's it's all mind games, and which now I'm gonna go to my next part of this, right? When a narc leaves you for another narcissist, it's it'll look it'll look like they're having fun. I promise you, they're going to get bored with each other because it goes back to everything I just said. Narcs only care about their own sexual gratification. So if a narc is sleeping with another narc, it's not gonna last long. They're going to get bored with each other. Impaired. When a narc sleeps with you, you are the essence of the elixir of life. Okay, why? Because you're empath. Why? Because you have that empathy to care about your partner's needs. So sex with you is not going to be nothing compared with another narc. They're only going to use this narc just to make you mad. They're only going to use this narc to make you feel like you're lacking something when the whole time they're going to always miss you. They're only going to mess with these narcs until they get bored, until they get bored. And narcs never really leave you, y'all. Let's be real. A narc will never truly leave you. It's up to you to walk away. Even if, even if a narc walks away from you, they really not. They always want to keep the door open. That's what it is. I forgot the name of that policy, but it's like this like open door policy. There you go. They're always trying to keep the door open so they can slide right back in they're just doing things just to make you mad they're doing things just to again constant i do aba therapy okay um consequences and, and rewards okay consequences and rewards these narcs will use consequences to make you realize oh i don't want you to leave me again or i don't want you with her or with him to try to reward you now oh i'm back are you gonna do what i say so don't think that just because they leave you, they're really trying to leave you. No, they're leaving you to punish you like you're a fucking child. They want to teach you a lesson. When where's the lesson? They want you to believe that they are the the gift of all gifts. When they're not even they're not even aware of what it is that you need. They don't even care about your your feelings, your needs. So how can you be the best? Like that's the illusion. But they know that because you are in love with them. See, love has a thing. Y'all know that saying. You know, love make you do crazy shit. When you do have love for somebody, because it's all chemicals in your brain, when you having this influx of chemicals going on in your brain, pumping throughout your blood cells, you feel me? Those hormones, that euphoric feeling when you are around somebody, even if it is toxic, okay? This is what toxic relationships are. You will feel like you will feel like you are in fight, fight, or freeze, depending on how they treat you. When You will know their cycle, okay? The cycle of abuse. It's the high, then it's the low. It's the fucking, they, the impact, they hit you, now they making it up to you, now you back to the honeymoon phase. This is how the cycle of abuse works, and this is how that impact works on your brain. So, is, of course, it wasn't all bad when you got the, the narcissist will be so romantic to you in the beginning. They will they it, it will seem like it's the best sex. Why? Because they're they're mirroring you. They're mirroring you. Hold up. Let me read this real quick. Um, all right. Uh, the narcissists are constantly projecting onto others. First to point the finger, last to look in. Okay, I read that. Such as the host. A what's brown and it's, oh gosh y'all are weird okay women are inherently selfish and self-centered deceptive and manipulated by um no men are also inherent let me let me pin this listen i'm i told y'all y'all see this the balance alpha okay y'all see my my nutra killing that's my logo that's my platform i'm very balanced being selfish and self-centered is not just in women it's in men too y'all this is the duality that's the duality of life men narcs and women narcs the, the everything i just said applies to both the only one thing that don't apply is 
a woman can't really be that violent in bed. Like, we're, again, we don't have the pole. We're not the one that's doing the stroking. So when it comes to violent behavior, a narc man, because, again, y'all are stronger than women. So that's the, on, the only paradox between men and women. Women are more emotionally fucked up, but men have the physical ability to hurt you. And I'm not saying women don't either. Of course, a woman, of course, women can be abusive too. But as far as sexual purposes only, a narc man will be the most violent. A woman, how how we gonna violently hurt you in bed? Like y'all the one, like what? No, so so yeah, just saying like it's both, y'all. It's both. It's not just it's not just one way. It's not just men are narcs, women are narcs too. The only the only thing is now I probably gonna lose some views, but I don't care. I personally believe that one a woman is basically God because the woman has to bleed every month. Like men don't have to do that. Men don't have to go through a whole body change. So if a woman has this much power, then yeah, it seems it seems like we can point the finger more at women because the fact that a woman has so much power in her womb, the one the that's why I tell y'all get the sacred woman. Get that book called. Let me just show y'all real quick. Get this book, y'all. Get the Sacred Woman, okay? Get that book on Amazon. It's literally probably like, like twenty dollars. That same twenty dollars y'all spend to go out to McDonald's, you can literally spend whatever money y'all use on things that are unhealthy. You can take fifteen, twenty dollars and get a book that will make you change your fucking whole reality. So basically, the woman has a womb that's so powerful. So for you to be this powerful, the woman who rocks the cradle controls the nations because. The woman has the power to put love into a child or to put fear into a child because we only live on two frequencies. So if a woman is that powerful and she can manipulate and fuck people heads up, this is why it seems like it's more pointed fingers at the woman. But again, we all have free will. Thank you so much, Vaz. We all have free will. So even with a man, it's a choice. You're choosing to be abusive. You are choosing to be a product of your environment. So, and this is why I said for women, we can we can literally change shit because that's what it means to have P power, right? To have P power means that you're not going to degrade yourself and allow somebody to treat you like shit. Because again, a, a narc man, narc men will treat women based off how their own mother was treated. If a narc man is hurting you, playing you, he watched men do it to his own mother first and his mother accepted it. Not every woman is even a narc. They're just pick -mishas. Some of these women are just so like, so low self-esteem. And that's the paradox. Just because a woman allows herself to be treated badly, that's not a narcissist. She's clearly not a narcissist. She has no, thank you so much, Crystal. She has no self-worth for herself. Thank you, Crystal. You're so sweet. I appreciate you for always showing me love. But a woman who is allowing a man to walk especially if she has a son if a woman has sons or even daughters because you're teaching your daughters okay you're supposed to be walked over you're supposed to be treated like shit when lady you are a goddess you don't let no man play with you if somebody no we're not perfect and this is why i'm telling y'all if you are raised in a toxic environment okay if you if you start off your life and you're a pick misha that's not nothing to be ashamed of, but now heal that shit. You don't have, just because you was raised in an environment where people withheld love from you does not mean you have to become older and allow people to withhold love from you when you are a goddess. You can literally pick and choose who you want in your life. So if a child, if a, if a daughter and a son is watching their mother get the bare minimum, get treated like a yo-yo, these narc men now know exactly how to pick these women. They will pick a woman. Just because you have an insecurity does not make you less of a goddess. We all have things we have to work on. So if this narc gets you while you are in your lower self, this is what it means to be, oh, you can't get the best version of me. That's what that means. We all start from somewhere. You have to crawl before you walk. So thank you, Vaz. Thank you. So if a man sees a woman and sees like, for example, okay, you overweight right now. Oh, she overweight. So clearly she feels some kind of way about herself. I'm about to woo her, get all in her face. That's how they get their supply. But I guarantee you, once that woman starts to lose that weight, starts to build up her confidence, know that, oh, I'm beautiful, then that's when he begins to slip and lose her. And he has to go find other women who have low securities, who has not risen and stepped into their power so he can manipulate them. So this is why narc men will have a pool of narc women. or I mean, not, well, narc women and just regular women as well, like empaths. But they will, dis they will discard, they will discard the empaths but their pool of narc women, they don't discard them. Narcs and narcs, they go back and forth. A narc woman, a narc woman will be 
another narc man's supply and cycle because she also has a supply and cycle of men too she also has multiple baby fathers so she don't care about what that man is really doing whenever he pop back up every five years she gonna let him hit because she don't even have respect for herself narc women don't even respect themselves now a uh, low uh, uh insecure woman a uh, insecure woman the res so a narc woman don't respect her pussy, but an insecure woman only doesn't respect herself enough because she does, she has not healed her insecurities. But a, a insecure woman can rise up. A insecure woman can gain power and not be a pygmy no more. But a narcissistic woman will, will always be a narcissistic woman. Like and that's facts. And um, okay, let me see. I it used to be the survival woman had these traits. Now they just abuse them for self. Love and light, guys. Thank you, Vaz. Thank you. Love and light to you, God. You, you're giving an example to how most at all. Not all women are narcissists. I, I said not all women are narcissists, love. You have to listen. I don't really like, um, I, I, I can't stand, like, I can't stand fucking, I cannot stand stu stupidity. If you can't read between the lines of what I'm saying, please don't even comment. I'm not with it today. Like, I'm really not. Women don't suffer because I will block you. I don't have time. I will block you and I will get a moderator. Uh, wait, what? Wait, I'm lost. Where, what the hell? When, okay, I read that. Women say I'm a queen prime example. Women are queens though. So there's a lot of men who literally just hate women. If you just hate women, then you can't be here on my platform. I love women and men equally. And I see equal faults in both men and women. So if you are so against women, then you don't need to be here. Cause we need to stop narc men from hurting women. And we need to start, we need to stop narc men from hurting men. It's duality. And if you was hurt by a woman, then that's the reason I was hurt by a man. I'm not on here bashing men. I don't hate men. So um, good luck for them. I'm Taurus. I don't welcome back. Exactly. There are five traits to be a narcissist. Women are God. None of you women can have babies without a man's seed. Okay, so let's, I'm about to block you. I'm going to just, I'm going to use you as an example though. First of all, if you don't know your ancient Egyptian deities, they're nuts, okay? Nut had her babies without sleeping with anybody. It's primordial beings, okay? And there are also male deities who spat out a baby with their own semen. So if you don't know knowledge, don't come on here saying that because a woman actually can have a baby. Like that's, that's why women are gods. Women had the babies. So the gods did, the primordials. That's how we got here, the human race. So yeah, I'm, if you're going to keep doing that, I will let you leave. I believe children are more God than women though. I think women are the portal to life. I mean, we all, but we all start off as children. So, and the, the children can't defend themselves. The, the woman is the one. That's why they say the woman who rocks the crate controls the nation. The woman has the power to instill into that child. If that child is not being instilled with love and light, they're not they're not going to know that they are a God themselves. A woman is the one who sets the tone. A woman is the one who lays down a law, who brings balance, who brings justice. Women are mostly the ones who become teachers, who are therapists because of the nurturing aspect. We are the natural nurturers. So without the nurturer, the children don't know what to do. That's why the woman who rocks the crate Con the woman who rocks the cradle controls the nation whatever a woman instills into that child that's how that child will become but we have free will so if you were if you were raised by an evil woman how you nine times out of ten you're not gonna become a god until you heal yourself i became a god because i healed myself but I, if i was raised by a fucking uh, evil demon i could have also became an evil demon as well i'm in my power so that's why i'm telling all y'all ladies like heal yourself thank you so much guys heal yourself and you will step into that power because people have to watch children watch what they see a, you, again a baby has to come out has to learn how to walk you crawling you don't know nothing until somebody teaches you it's like a computer the computer needs to be updated that the computer needs downloads you don't know nothing until somebody shows you this is why we learn by by habit we learn by watching this is why we have visual we learn from visual from actually doing it with our hands you have to learn from somebody you're not going to just pop out and know i mean i did see a baby though come out the womb and start holding his head up like the like the first two hours i'm like what the hell that's a smart ass baby but but yeah one women are definitely gods that's 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 just my belief i believe that i mean we are all gods and goddesses but the woman has that power without the woman it's like 
look at look what men do men are blown men are blowing up people men are having wars if there was truly more women in charge like divine women this world would be so peaceful but men get in their ego and also why why do men have to protect women when men have to protect women from other men that's it. And it's, it's still a dominating thing. It's like, you're mine. And I don't want another man to see you. And, and a man can be the one to, protect, to hurt you. So men are protecting women from other men, not from other women. We're not, if you're a good woman, we ain't out here trying to go attack and rape and kill people. Men are the ones who will rape you in the alleyway. I just came off campus. Girl got raped in the alleyway. Like, that's what men will do. No matter how old they are, they will rape you. Like, women ain't out here raping and again, when your fertilization is at the end, men are fertile to death. And what the and what does again what does that mean? That's very misogynistic. This is what I'm saying, y'all. I swear, this is why. First of all, that's misogynistic. Let's talk about that then too. If a man have a baby at 80 years old, how does that make you a good man? You're gonna die soon. You're gonna leave that baby here to still fend for themselves. It don't matter how much money you have. So at the end of the day, it's still a polarity, it's still a duality. It don't matter. Women can have women have babies in their fifties. That's number one. But regardless of age, we're in this earthly realm. Nobody is living until they're two hundred years old. So if you know you're not going to live to two hundred years old, and you decide to have a baby at eighty five years old, at eighty five, where is this baby going to now? Who's going to be this baby's father? Who's going to give this baby that masculine love that they need? You're old now. Like, you're not about to be out here running and play. You, you wasn't even really probably doing it when you done got the girl pregnant. You probably just laid there. So make it make sense. Y'all can't use this. Y'all always try to use stuff on women. It's the same way. Men also, they, they, they need Viagra. It's men who get older and have to take stuff to help supplements to help them perform and as women who talk about that but y'all don't talk about that though it's always just a woman it's always just a point the finger at the woman um what is the name of that book again uh it is it is the sacred woman the sacred woman okay i don't like i said i take from everything so i don't i didn't even read the whole book but just the stuff i have read from it is it's a really good book I just don't agree with everything it say, but the beginning of the book is truly like the beginning, a little bit of the middle and some of the end is very helpful. Like with your altar, with foods to eat for your womb, to cleanse yourself because ladies, again, you are God. Anytime y'all ever had BV and all that stuff, that's just the spirit realm letting you know you are literally doing things in your life that's not conducive. Everything starts within. Once you go within and you know you're God, I promise you your, your puss gonna be on water, like pure water. Like, do you feel me? Thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. But once y'all, ladies, once you go in, you won't have those type of things. Thank you so much, number six. Thank you for the six flowers. And I'm about to uh, pull cards for you. Um, Crystal, I'm speaking fake. Sorry. You feel... Here, I'm going to block him, Crystal. Forget him. You're not about to come at her because she's actually supporting me. Now you're blocked, stupid. I swear, y'all. How do I? Watch when I get this. Watch when I get this down pat. Yeah, viewer will not. Yep. Block, dummy. All right. Um. Yeah, exactly, Crystal. He bored. He big bored. Big, big bored. Let me pull a card for you, Crystal. So, like I said, y'all, just these narc. I went over the stuff. Let me tell y'all one more time. Um, the the aggression and the violence is what I want y'all to really focus on for my lady. That's how you'll know you with a narc. Cause watching all that porn, he's watching all that porn, and he's trying to act that out on you. And that's tra that's traumatizing. This is why I tell y'all know your womb. Know what your womb like. If your womb don't like something, it's going to react. Oh yeah, that's what I'm about to say. As far as like any any like yeast infections or BB, look at what your partner is also doing to you. It's your environment and it's how he's treating you. If he's hurting, if your womb is telling you, sis, I don't like this man, she's going to show you. She's going to force you to have to look within and say, damn, what is wrong? Because we're we are we are naturally. We naturally have our essence as gold, y'all. you like you're naturally a euphoric being like literally if you are in the embodiment of love you are the embodiment of love your pheromones your hair everything about you is goddess energy so if somebody is giving you energy that is causing you to now not feel confident you have to go within and see where is this coming from why is this happening to me okay yeah sacred woman yeah my mama was treated kindly oh your mom was treated kindly Vaz. she was your mom was treated good. That's good. So you know how to treat a woman then. Um, and still being fat. Okay, I blocked you. Thank you, Hailey. Hold up. 
Thank God he was irritating. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know I was gonna let, let him stay and be salty, but he I can't deal with people like that. It's just it be so annoying. And just imagine when the views go up, they going these trolls gonna come, and I'm just gonna be like, really? I mean, I'm gonna play with that. Thank you. Low self esteem. Yes, my ex did that with a boy. Oh, she on. <laughs> Get the book. Thank you for the recommendation. You are so welcome, Courtney. You're so welcome. My oldest son didn't crawl. He just started walking. Oh, he just started walking. All right, he a guy. Thank you. He, okay, so I'm gonna pull a card for Crystal. But. Yeah, y'all, y'all have to, like I said, ladies, because, again, men don't have to deal with that. A man ain't got to deal with, now, now, on the surface of your skin, yes, if you're not, like, cleansing yourself, yes, anybody can have a smell. But far as secretions from our body, men don't have to deal with that. A man does not have to deal with a cycle every month. This cycle changes our, our mood. We only get, you know, especially if you're regulated, you get that one, you, you got to get one week a month. One week a month where you have to cleanse yourself you have to sit the fuck down crystal look we got Basset. but but that always come through though i love Basset. she always come through number two that's duality right this this card represents celebration and marriage and celebration marriage so so you're about to celebrate something crystal you're about to celebrate something and i i can't wait please come back and let me know let me know like come give me come give me uh Come give me like that confirmation, like yes, thank you so much. You was so right, or whatever you want to say. And if and the lady of the east, so if the east side resonates with you, like if you're on the east side of the world, if you're on the east side of your state, um, if the east side rep um means anything to you, then this is good because attraction, marriage, and celebration. So you are attracting. You are literally attracting new experiences, Crystal. You are attracting new experiences. You're going to be celebrating things. You will be getting either you're going to get married, like actually to a person, or again, marriage can also, I'm I'm very dual. Marriage can also mean to a new project. Marriage can mean to a new relationship. Marriage is a contract. So you will be getting, you will be getting a new contract. You are so welcome, love. Thank you for always supporting me. So there you go. Celebration and fire. This is fire. So very primordial energy burning things down to rise back up like the phoenix love so go ahead crystal period all right boss i'm gonna do one for you too you so welcome enjoy crystal enjoy that new job enjoy your new whatever you're doing thank you even if, uh, if you having a baby whatever it is enjoy love this is your time too. duality duality is also you know that masculine and feminine so that's why i said for this it can be anything it can be a partner or an endeavorer but you're abundant you are abundant you're going to be celebrating all your abundance all your abundance that yin and yang because you have to live your life live your life because life and death when you die you ain't gonna die love you're just gonna transcend and go somewhere way more popping this is a game of life y'all all we gotta do is pass these levels and just ascend like this is what i even gotta remind myself when these trolls come when people say shit fuck them they're not even on our level people crystal you know who you are everybody watching me y'all know who you are so when somebody's trying to play with you that's a lack mindset when you go within and you know who you are can't nobody tell you who the fuck you are when you know who you are when you can literally turn water to wine like on some magic shit when you, when you got shit like that can't nobody tell you nothing and that's facts all right all right this for you boss this for you number four we got kepper Ra. okay bet that's a good one so and you know four is grounded stable feelings four seasons of the element four seasons of the elements and also four corners of the earth four corners of the earth that's something i, I want to um i want to do a video on that too y'all because it's always like these four like the four corners of the earth and the four like parts of like the i feel like we're like in a dome i'm not gonna go off but anyway um developing foundation earth earthly perspective so you are literally developing a more down to earth perspective you are earth sign too so so you already have that earth embodiment and this card also represents transformation of a situation inner transformation renewal of energy so you are transforming a situation you are also you are also transforming yourself from the inner and you are also renewing your own energy so you're renewing your own energies people around you places you are a god you are literally manipulating all the energies all the elements you you are manipulating the four seasons the four elements you manipulating all that shit and you transforming and that's big game 
So, all right, it was just crystal and vibes. All right, y'all, now we can just get back to this part, and I'm going to just pull parts for y'all regular now, okay? So, thank y'all for all the love and the likes. And like I told y'all, remember, these narc, if a narc has ever left you for another narc, Please don't be hurt by that. And stop looking at their page, y'all. Don't look at their page no more. Stop watching them. Stop watching them. Stop keeping tabs on them. Don't keep hurting yourself, okay? It's fake. Whatever they post, they know that you're going to look. So they trying to hurt your feelings with this person who they don't even care about. They're going to do the same thing to that person as well. Do not think that they are special. They're not special because a narcissist is not a real person. A narcissist does not care about people evolving. They don't care about love, peace, and light. They don't care. All they want is destruction. So stop watching their page and stop thinking that... Stop thinking that somebody got one up on you. They don't have nothing up on you. Show up for yourself because show up for yourself. Don't watch them no more. Show up for yourself because you will get somebody better. You guys deserve a sexual partner because sex is magic, okay? Sex is beautiful. Y'all deserve somebody who is going to be respectful to your body, who is going to love your body. Destructive and attention. Exactly. Like, it's very destructive. Like, don't give them no attention. Like, let them go here. Shoe fly. Tell them shoe fly. Don't bother me. Unlock doors. Unlock those other hidden doors that you have. Because, again, life is a test. We, this is a quiz, y'all. Pass your quiz. When you pass your quiz, you will unlock new doors. I told you, the higher you go, the deities will tag team you in. Whatever you went through, what, being with that narc, being in an abusive relationship, being in an abusive environment, whatever toxic, toxic situation you went through, it was needed. You needed to go through that so you can have that tra that trajectory into your new reality. How because remember, everything's a polarity. The harder the fucking consequence, the harder the pain, the suffering, the abuse, the trauma, the higher the reward. So those doors will unlock for you once you pass the test. While you were going through those traumas, though, there was deities, there was angels protecting you. And once you recognize and you heal yourself, those deities and those angels will say, oh, my child done healed tag team. They tag team each other in for you. Now this new deity is going to come into your life, a new angel, a new God. Because that's how it is. You always have your one from birth, but your one from birth is protecting you and giving contracts to other deities to come and help assist you. Okay? Because that's what we do. We're a tribal. Even in the spirit realm, they're going to tag team you in. The spirit, the deity who has that, that, that million dollar, that trillion dollar idea for you, that trillion dollar fucking move for you, they're going to they're going to tag team you in when you are ready. They're waiting to see how you act. So that way, okay, you healed now. I couldn't come to you when you was at this level two. I had to wait until you came up to level five. Now I'm going to help you now. Spiritually, love, spiritually, we gang shit. And that's gang. Do you understand me? Like the spirits, y'all spirits don't play about y'all. Give, give praise to y'all. Talk to y'all spirits. Love, do it how y'all do it. I'm not telling y'all how to talk to y'all spirits, but tap in and build that relationship with them. However you are with your spirits, can't nobody tell you how to have a relationship with your spirit team because they are guiding you. Everything you have in your life is because of them. No human can do anything for you. The deities touch on the hearts of kings and queens to give you opportunities. Not a human. These humans don't care about you. Look at how y'all, what, what is blood? That's why I did that video. What is blood? Look at how your own family will do y'all. Your family not going to unlock doors for you. They going to keep those doors locked. They going to lock the door and throw away the key because they don't want to see you be better than them. Um, crabs in a barrel. Okay. You want to elevate. They're going to keep pulling you back down. Come on now. Come on. Y'all deities love y'all. Y'all spirit team, whatever y'all call it. I say everything, but whatever you believe in, that power loves you. That loves you. We don't, don't be into the, the toxic stuff of the world. I, I get low too sometimes. I'm not perfect, but bring yourself back up. We don't have to argue with people. We don't, if you're not on my level, cuz, I don't care. Like, I know who I am. Once you know who the fuck you are, bro, it's a different type of energy. That is, that is a God complex. When you know who you are, I got a God complex because I know who I am. How can you tell me who I am when I already know who I am? You didn't walk in my shoes. Y'all got to let people know. You did not walk in these shoes. You could never walk in these shoes. So how can you sit here and tell me what I need to do? Like, come on. Y'all got to stay woke and don't let nobody come for you at all. Oh, yes, Anubis. Yes. Yes, Anubis. Okay, y'all all said Anubis. How many people said Anubis? All right, Anubis coming through. I value you. Um, Shanae Marie. 
Oh, thank you, Shanae Marie. I value you as well. Old verse new, y'all. Transform yourself. Heal your old self so you can be your new self. And quantum jump. Quantum leaping. Jump into realities. Visualize. Meditate. Do what y'all got to do. Write stuff down. And if you don't like writing, I ain't going to tell you what to do, but I'm going to tell you what to do. That's how you manifest, okay? Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Put that work in. The seeds you plant, you will reap. You will reap what you sow. I promise you, your old versus new sow. Cheryl Jess. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Your skin glow. Thank you so much, beautiful. Your skin is beautiful as well. Thank you. You are a reflection of me, love. So we are one. We are gang, my love. Oh, number four. We got four, y'all. This is a good card. Oh, I never pulled this card before. All right, this is a really good card. I'm about to read this one to y'all. Oh, my God. Let's see what this one say. So, and four again, y'all. Again, so now we're pulling fours today. So, we just pull what? We pulled a two. We pulled a four. Two, two, four. And now we pull another four. You feel me? Four and four is eight. I got the eight on, y'all. We abundant in what? We in month number eight. Let's go. Let's go. Crystal, you still here? This is for you too, love. All these eights, love. You about to get this money because you had got the attraction card. Let's go. Stop playing with me. Y'all Y'all got, y'all got, I'm tap tap. I told y'all. Tap tap, Okay. Now, this card represents to build, also to unite. See that? Old versus new. Un show up for yourself. Show up for yourself. Unlock doors. Baby, this is a quiz. Pass your quiz so you can unlock them doors so the deities can tag team you in, baby. Because your old versus new self. Your old self helped you become your new self. Don't be mad at your old self. That's This is what I teach, okay? Now, I am telling y'all what my teachings are. My teachings is we don't got to kill our old self because the old self did what they could with the information that they had at that time and the space and the reality and that, dimen in that dimension. That's it. Our old self could only do what they could to survive because we are in an avatar. We are animalistic. We are on, we can tap into survival mode real quick. So don't hate your old self. Love your old self because baby, you are me. I upgraded, I upgraded you. You upgrade your own self. When you can look back at your old pictures and look at yourself now, look at what you manifested. Look at how you feel. Look how healthy you are. Look how happy you are. Look how bright and loving you are. Look at who you have around you now versus back then. You can see the darkness around your, your pictures. You can look at your old pictures and see even though you were smiling, even though you was doing the best to be grateful with your reality, that's why God continued to bless you because you endured. But now look at you now. That energy that was attached to you then is no longer on you. Why? Because you are new. You are created new again in the spirit realm, okay? And that's facts, y'all. And then um, this is, this card represents, like I told y'all, I already told y'all it was uh, to build, also to unite creative energies, power and self-expression, successful ex execution of a plan. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Let me read it for y'all again for the people in the fucking back. Creative energies, power and self-expression, successful execution of plans. Do you hear? Creative energies are around you. Power, successful execution of plans. Whatever you are planning to do, you don't got to put people in your business. Move in silence. This is how outside energy can mess up stuff. But the, the more you master yourself, can't nobody fuck your shit up. But continue to move in silence. You don't got to tell your fake-ass family members what you plan on doing. You don't got to tell your fake-ass family members, oh, I'm leaving, baby. I'm packing my shit on the low. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm looking for apartments. I'm leaving. I will leave you. People don't got to know. Go ahead and dip right off. Deuces. Pop up in a whole new state. Deuces. You don't even know where I'm at now. Look at you, Saudi. Go ahead, y'all. Move in silence. Y'all don't got to fuck with nobody. This is your life. This is your life, love. Live your life. I'm glad. Oh, I'm so glad you found me, too. You're part of the Nutri Killing Gang, love. You part of my soul family. So I'm so happy you found me, too, love. I really am. I give you so much plethora of love and riches. Have all this energy. I share my energy with y'all because I know what my spirit team has done for me. And I want them, I want your spirit team to do the same thing for you. My spirit team is in contact with y'all spirit team right now. This phone is a tool for us to unite, y'all. We're not far apart. Y'all feel this energy. We are connected in the astros right now. We are gang. I'm showing up for y'all. I will pull up for you. Do you understand me? Because people be doing foul play. But when you meet your soul family, we ain't having it. Your soul family, we gonna go gang for you and the astros we gonna fight for you because that's what we do okay the higher you go when you meet somebody else who are who is on a higher level they will tag team you in with their own energy as well to elevate your level of consciousness we help each other thank you so much boss thank you my love thank you for the flowers we help
help each other, my love. The higher you go, there's this is why I told you I'm your ram in the bush. Because God always keeps a ram in the bush for you. You thought your phone was going to get, you thought all this crazy stuff was going to happen to you. And God popped up and said, here you go. Here you go. That's what your soul family will do. Blood don't mean nothing, my love. You can meet a stranger and they will give you way more than your own family gave to you. Okay? I'm happy to be on your team. I'm so happy you on my team too, Cheryl. Yes, we big gang, love. Um, dip off. Exactly. Dip right off. Like, skirt, skirt. Like, what? Who you who you calling? Oh, I, I mean, I ain't changed my number. Y'all can do that if y'all want. I love numbers, so I'm not about to keep playing with my phone number because my phone number is so lit. And I'm not changing my number. Go ahead and call my phone. Go ahead. I will I will answer and hang up. Like, I'm just as crazy. You want to keep calling me? I will answer and hang up every time. Make you mad as hell. Then you'll stop calling. Don't change your number. Don't be scared. This is how they get you. If somebody can make you change their, change your number, that's how they know they got to you. Y'all got to. And if you need to change your number, though, do that too. Okay? If you need a fresh start, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? I deleted all my social medias and started all over. So, I get it. Because that's a different energy to me. But my phone number... You can call, love. That don't mean I'm an answer. That don't mean I'm a come. What the fuck is you talking about? I did. I'm out. Screw, screw. <laughs> and that's just fake. I'm looking for the right number. Keep changing. You reading me. I, I told. See, my spirit team be tapped. They told me to say numbers. Whatever they tell me to say, I do. I listen to them because they're the ones who provide for me. They're the ones who manifested my whole life. They're the ones who helped me lose 60 pounds of weight. Like, I listen to them. Not nobody else. So whatever they tell me to do, I'm tap tap. I'm going to do it. I, I love my spirits. And that's facts. I talk to my spirits, baby. That's facts. LOL, I love cray cray. Exactly. Oh, I like you. I like crazy too, baby. No more fear. We don't have no fear. Why would you be afraid? Are you afraid of the dark? Let's be real. Are you afraid of the dark? If you are afraid of the dark, baby, you got to go within and fight that shit. Don't be afraid of the dark. The dark is fun, love. Real psycho. Like, let's be balanced here. I'm a psycho, but baby, I'm peace, love, and light, okay? That's just fit. Because my spirits go gang. No more fear. We have no fear because we transform into the butterfly. That butterfly was in that cocoon. That caterpillar had to be in that cocoon wrapped up in the dark obscurity not knowing what's going to happen when you don't know what's going to happen next but you have faith in the universe oh baby you go oh baby i promise you i promise you're gonna be so lit yo i swear on everything i love i'm just trying to tell y'all tap in go within love yourself that's all you need if you have self-love then you already won you already won the battle because nobody can love you like yourself okay and when again the spirits touch on hearts of kings and queens so when you are a vibrational match when you are loving yourself and you are a vibrational match for other people to come into your life and love you that will be a plus that will be a plus when you could be around people who treat you exactly the way that you treat you but the minute somebody gives you red flags the minute somebody crosses you you should have no problem with cutting them off because you didn't make me and you damn sure can't break me. Do you understand me? The love I have within me, is it comes from within. All right, we got number six now. And number six is six cents. So y'all is tapping into y'all extra sensory um, y'all extra sensory like knowledge. Y'all know shit. Y'all are knowing shit. That's why I just pulled this. And this represents uh, hold that. I promise I'm gonna learn all my cards by heart. I can't wait because it's so many, y'all. It's so many. <laughs> all right. This represents the sub the subterranean world. The subterranean world. And I tell y'all, go into the dark side. Don't be scared of dark. Go to the subterranean world. What's up? What's up, demons? What's up? What's up, ghouls and goblins? Let's go. <laughs> A journey remembering the past in order to know how to act in the present. Unconscious memory surfacing. The continuity of time. So remembering the past is remembering... It could be what you've gone through and remembering what, what people have put you through. Remembering what collectively, what the cumulative has went through. You feel me? Wars and all this shit. Look at how far we came, y'all. Like, when you put stuff in perspective, when y'all really look at the world right now, I'm not saying that the world is perfect, but our ancestors... They did so much for us to get to this point, though. Nothing, it wasn't perfect, but they was being enslaved. 
Women would, what would women do once they was on that boat? Women would actually jump off the boat and drown themselves with their own child because no, you will not have dominion over me and my child. I will end this. I will end this game myself. The game got too out of hand. Even though the game is still out of hand right now, y'all, but this is the, this is the, what a time to be alive, y'all. I got chills right now. What a time to be alive because knowing, knowing the past, Knowing how we acted in the past, we are young, y'all. If we know we did fucked up shit back then, and now we're in 2023, we can manifest anything we want. You can man you can have anything you want, love. What a time to be alive. Because your vibration will attract where you go. Your vibration will keep you safe. Your spirit team will tell you, no, no, no. Um, when you about to leave out the house, I'm, let me tell y'all how the spirits will really help you. When you about to walk out the door, you get in your car. You like, wait, I swear I had my phone on me. What the fuck? Yeah, they playing games with you. They done kept your phone because they needed they needed to stall you. They needed you to stall for five more minutes because there was something that just happened up the street. And they did not want you to go to that area yet. They will stall you. The spirits will stall you. That's how they keep you safe. This is how you stay away from predators because they will remind you. When you thinking, oh, I'm about to go to I'm about to go to McDonald's and your spirit team might know. How about you go out to a nice restaurant? Go out to eat. Everything, anytime you you feel something listen to it because that's them protecting you and not even just protecting you that's them literally aligning you with something better you was about to go get ice cream now you about to go get cake and now you just now you just made a whole new friend and th that's a blessing it's not always danger it's love and peace y'all love and peace so remember what you've gone through remember those things because the continuity of time time is going to keep going okay my love and i love y'all so much all right let me see what what else y'all saying i'm gonna go i'm looking for the right oh i read that um amen i need much more practice is that thank you so much guys thank you my love i need more practice is that um divine intervention yes number that duality the divine intervention exactly um let me see and like I said, this was six, so clairvoyance, I read that to y'all. So y'all are tapping in. Everybody has some form of psychic ability. Some people have more than others. Y'all all have y'all own gift. You are born with your gift. Big facts. Y'all are born with your own gift. So you don't have to be jealous of somebody else. You don't have to look at somebody else and say, oh, I want that. You can have that too because you have your own within. Just go within and learn who you are. One person might be good at singing and one person might be good at drawing. That don't make anybody more better than the other person. It's just that this is your talent because there's always going to be a buyer, y'all. There's always going to be people that's going to want to come and support you to hear your music. And that one person might support you and the drawer. Oh, I love music. I love her voice. And oh, guess what? I love artwork. I'm about to go over here too. There's always going to be a buyer who is who is so impressed and infatuated with your gift, with your talent, who will listen to you. How you guys are with me. And that's why I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Y'all are literally listening to me perfect my gift because i have not been doing live long <laughs> as you can see i don't even know how black people that good um what's my card your card was your card was um pet your card was this one your card was pet kepper Ra. And you are transformation of a situation, transformation, renewal of energies. And Crystal, if you're still here, you had got a Bisset too. So that was y'all two cards. I pulled two cards for y'all. I think y'all the only two who donated. So I don't think nobody else donated. But everybody else, all the other cards was for y'all too, okay? So, and I'll pull one more of these. Up oh, the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> tap tap i pulled the reaper see i wasn't i was just about to get off something said see spirit said come on the reaper y'all all said anubis the reaper is here love this is why i told y'all don't be scared do you know what the reaper will do for you the, don't be afraid do not be afraid the reaper will come and protect you because when you have a pure heart listen the dark will submit to you okay when you are pure heart the dark will come and assist you, will protect you from the demons. Because they a demon. Okay, I got demons around me, love. I got people, I got real spirits who will take your fucking breath around me. Stop playing with me. The Reaper, stop playing with me. I am not a king. I am not a god. I am worse. Their gods fear me. I love that. Yes, I love that. Let them know. Let them know, baby. Let them know. This is superb work. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I normally get a good crowd. Never. Thank you, boss. Thank you so much. Never too much hate. So I'm good with this. You feel me? I don't, I told my spirit team I don't want trolls, but I guess that comes with the territory. So whenever y'all see them, I'm going to block them for y'all. And I'll be back, y'all. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Thank y'all.
for everybody who donated to me. Peace, love, and light to y'all. Like I said, I am y'all ram in a bush. Thank you for your service. You are so welcome, love. Thank you for your service as well. Thank you for being an amazing father. Y'all need to go follow him because he is an amazing father. And, you know, fathers don't get looked at. You know, it's always the mothers. And this is why I told y'all earlier. Because it's so much em emphasis on the mom, because the mom rocks the cradle, she controls how that baby will become. But sometimes the dad has to come in and swoop the babies up and rock the cradle they own damn self. This is why it's duality. Nobody is better than nobody. We just have different things. We bleed, they don't. That's it, y'all. So I love y'all. You rock. I'm your fan. Oh, thank you. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much. I love y'all so much. Thank you for the heart. I love that heart. It's so cute. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'll be back, okay? Peace, love, and light to y'all. Have a beautiful day. Go outside, okay? Bye.